Hey guys, this is Josh from APT at CES 2015 Unveiled, checking out a sneak peek before the show starts. And Leah here from Belkin is going to show us the new line of Wemo sensors. Yep, happy to show them to you. So what we have here are our Wemo home sensors. They're designed to be subscription-free awareness of what's going on in your home. So it's almost like a DIY security for people who don't want to pay a security fee, um, a monthly security fee. So what we've got are our motion sensor, our room motion sensor. You'd put that up in the corner, um, and it has a 90-degree radius and about a 30-foot range. So it, it can do a whole home or a whole, uh, a whole big hallway. Um, and it's also infrared, so it detects heat signatures. So that way, if your pets run across it, it won't set it off. Um, we also have a keychain uh, trigger. Now, just uh, sorry to interrupt, but the, all of these have some kind of interaction with an app you have? That is correct. These all work with our Wemo app, so it's one singular app to keep tabs on your whole household. They will also trigger any other Wemo devices. So any of our Wemo switches or a light switch or Wemo LED bulbs, they can be used as a trigger. So if that room sensor detects motion in that room, it can turn on the lights. Or if the keychain sensor detects that your kids are, have left the house but didn't turn off the TV, it can turn off the TV. Okay, that's so they cool. all work together. Um, so the keychain sensor works by, um, it can alert you if your kids have left the house or if your dog has wandered too far or if your kids come home from school. It's a little tag, it's designed to sit on a keychain or slip into a bag or um, put on your dog's collar, for example. So it works with the connection to the Wemo link, which is the Wi-Fi to Zigbee bridge that these all work with because they're all Zigbee based. Um, and once that connection is broken, it can send you an alert. Or once it's connected, it can send you an alert. Um, the next one that we have is our Wemo window and door sensor. So that will sit on any window or any door. It's a magnetic contact sensor, so once that contact is broken, it'll send an alert that lets you know that someone's either trying to get into your refrigerator if you want to, or your front door, or your sliding glass door, or your closet door, or your safe. Um, it'll alert you that someone's trying to get into whatever door you, you put it on. The next one is our Wemo alarm sensor, and that actually sits right next to an existing smoke alarm, or fire alarm, uh, or carbon monoxide detector, and when that goes off, it'll, you'll get an alert that your carbon monoxide detector is going off, and you should have someone go check it out or call the gas company to come. So to all it. my non-smart stuff, that's going to make it smart that to communicate correct. through that that, that app. Because a lot of people are renters or don't want to mess with their existing smoke alarm, so you just put these right next to it, and it can give you some smart capabilities um, and some alerting capabilities, and let you know that your house is okay even when you're not there. And I know, like the keychain and the the window sensor, I imagine have some kind of batteries. Do I need to worry about stuff like that? They're they're, they're all low power, so the batteries in them will last about a year. Um, so you don't have to worry about changing them often at all. So there'll be little tiny batteries that will, and it all works over Zigbee and Wi-Fi. So these all work with the Wemo app that I mentioned earlier. Um, you can log into your app and download it, and it all works together. All right, well, thank you very much. Sounds exciting. When are they going to come out? They will probably be out this summer. We don't have an exact TBD date, an exact due date on them yet. Okay. Same, we don't have exact pricing, but it'll probably be later this summer. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll have more CES coverage at apt.com or visit our blog at blog.app.com.